ダークマイト新しい象徴のなさ So, somehow I missed the second 30 second trailer for the My Hero Academia Your Next movie that came out a few days ago. And there is so much to break down, especially when it comes to Evil All Might, what his quirk is, the brand new villains working with him, and him officially going by the name Dark Might. So, the trailer kicks off with Dark Might walking on top of the fortress to look down on the city below. It's been confirmed that Kenta Miyake, the voice of All Might, is back to voice the main villain of the movie, Dark Might, which does beg the question is this? This evil version of All Might a clone or an All Might that came from another universe, or is it just a All Might obsessed faker who can seriously mimic the voice of All Might to perfection? We are then introduced to the other villains of the movie, and so far, none of these characters have any names, but just know that when they do get revealed, I will cover them in a separate video. But these mystery villains comprise of a woman with an empire waist dress with what looks to have some sort of webbing on it and a hat. To be honest, she kind of reminds me of Lady Dimitrescu. From Resident Evil Village, but I could just be down bad. An old dude with a big nose, a heteromorph in an all blacked out suit, a guy in a red suit with glasses, a big brolic looking dude with a little dude on his back, which makes me think that maybe the smaller guy is the one in control of the bigger guy, and a dude with blonde hair. Now, this group of villains does have an interesting gimmick to them as they can all be seen wearing a red rose somewhere on their body, as well as them all being dressed up somewhat fancy. Also, the lady, the man in the red suit, and the blonde haired villains. Happen to be the only ones wearing any type of jewelry, which could indicate that they are some of the more important villains in the group since Dark Might can be seen with his own branded jewelry later on. This does give me the feeling that this group of villains, by the way they dress, is ran in a similar style to the Yakuza. After seeing all of the new villains, we cut to Deku looking stunned as his danger sense goes out of control. This is most likely before or when Deku sees what Dark Might actually looks like, as in the original trailer, he wonders why. Dark Might is making his danger sense go crazy. And finally, we get to see what the main villain of the movie looks like. And yeah, he looks like a young Prime All Might, which makes me believe this All Might has to be either a clone or from the multiverse. Because if this was an obsessed super fan of All Might, why doesn't he have any surgical scars on his face? Dark Might does yell out Hakaida in the face reveal, which does mean destruction in Japanese, giving us the indication that Dark Might is supposed to be the symbol of destruction rather than the symbol of. Of peace. After the face reveal, we see the fortress in what could be when the fortress first makes its arrival in Japan, as the scene is followed up by a lineup of pro heroes consisting of Endeavor and his sidekicks, Mountain Lady, Ryukyu, Best Genius, Cementos, and Kamui Woods, all standing on a tower looking at the fortress. A news chopper flies towards the tower in the fortress, most likely in an attempt to cover the news of this All Might themed fortress, making its mysterious arrival in Japan. Sadly, no Mirko or Hawks. In the trailer, but it's possible given the movie is taking place in the few days leading up to the final war that they could still make an appearance in the movie. After this, we get more shots of the fortress's energy swallowing up the people in the city, along with some scenes of some of Class 1A and Ochako moving into action. Dark Might clenches his fist, making the most menacing face possible that looks so uncomfortable to look at, as it's really uncanny seeing All Might as a villain. Deku saves civilians using Black Whip, is most likely during the Fortress and Dark Might's initial attack on the city after he reveals himself to look exactly like the symbol of peace. Dark Might is then shown using his quirk, throwing a punch at Deku. Even though his quirk is a mystery and isn't confirmed to be one for all or a version of it, his hand does glow yellow and has what looks to be a one for all light shine as he throws the punch. Seeing how both of his hands are shown to glow yellow, this could be a quirk that works similar to the Marvel hero. Iron Fist. But if the poster for the movie is anything to go by, Dark Might is going to eventually get in what is All Might's Silver Age costume and get even stronger. Bakugo, Todoroki, and Tokoyami get cool little action scenes, and then we see Bakugo, Koda, Mina, Kirishima, Sugar Man, and Tokoyami all be surrounded by these two toed creatures in suits that are most likely fodder henchmen our heroes will be fighting against that could also be clones manifested by one of the villain's quirks. Now, here is where things get interesting. 
interesting because we get introduced to two more characters whom I don't think are actual villains working with Dark Might as we get introduced to another female character that looks to be around the same age as Deku and almost looks like this group of villains are controlling her in some way since the woman in the hat is shown with her hands on the girl's shoulder with the girl making this sort of dead facial expression. Also notice how at the top of her hair it has these purple looking highlights on it. That reminds me of the purple around Silver Age Dark Might shown in the main poster for the movie. The next character introduced is a man with an eye patch riding what looks to be an advanced looking motorcycle shooting a gun that could potentially be coming out of his arm. This man could definitely be on Dark Might's side for the simple fact that he's rocking a suit. But what makes me believe him and the girl aren't with Dark Might is because neither of them have a rose that all of the other villains are shown to have. And if we're going with the multiverse theory, this man does kind of remind me of David Shield, or at least a younger version of him. I mean, he is driving a pretty cool looking red motorcycle, and in David Shield's days with All Might, he was driving a cool looking advanced red car. Plus, maybe the man having an eye patch and what looks to be a hand that turns into a gun was caused by Dark Might, and that's who he is after in the trailer. So it's possible that these two new characters could be red herrings in the trailer to make us think that they are actually working with Dark Might. The trailer continues with a shot of Deku running, stating the likes of you could never be All Might, and the trailer ends with evil All Might claiming to be Dark Might. This was an insane trailer that honestly still leaves me with more questions than answers, but I'm still super hyped for it. Definitely excited to learn just what is Dark Might's quirk, what is Dark Might's true identity, is he from the multiverse, is he a clone, is he just a super fan, and who all of these new villains and characters are. I'm really banking on this being a multiversal story for the sole fact that this All Might themed fortress just completely comes out of nowhere and that's what it's stated to have happened in the description for the movie. But let me know your thoughts on the trailer and today's breakdown. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to enjoy smash that like button down below and if you're new to the Kidoroki channel then be sure to subscribe for more My Hero Academia content. With that said stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one.